Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Chat Spat. Are you ready? Are you ready? I can feel it. Are you ready? So I'm going to be bringing up some topics that viewers slash fellow YouTubers asked me. Some of this is controversial. Controversial? I can never say that word. Damn. Controversial? Huh? Some of it is. Um, most of it. Maybe all of it. Probably all of it. You guys know how I roll. So the first question is by Alice Rose. And she wants to know, how do you personally deal with hate comments? And what was your reaction to your first hate comment. Now keep in mind that this is not just towards me. These people are asking these questions for all of you to answer in your experiences and opinions as well down below in the comments. So don't forget to leave a comment. I really love it when you guys really interact with each other in the comments under these videos. So Alice, I have to say, how do I personally deal with hate comments? You know, at first, I was just like, you know what, fuck them. I will write them back and tell them what kind of piece of shit they are. You know, like, I'll just keep that going like that. Lately, as I've grown on my channel, as I've grown as a person with YouTube, just in general, for the most part, I can't say completely, but for the most part, I just delete it. I just, I'm done with it. You know, I'm done leaving that on my channel because not only does it spark me to get angry and bring a side of myself out that I probably shouldn't. It sparks the anger from my viewers and my followers that want to attack that person for being such a dick. And then, if, since that post gets so much um, attention, it'll bring it to the top. So all of your hate comments will be the first thing that anyone on your channel sees. And I just don't want that. I just don't like it. Oh my god, I completely forgot that I took off my lipstick to eat lunch. Ah, hold up. Ah, better. And then she asked, what was your reaction to your first hate comment? My first hate comment that I literally ever got, because it's always for the most part been dislikes on my videos. I think I've gotten maybe three hate dis like hate comments. Um, two of them were straight up hate, and one of them I think she was just kind of being pissy, you know, or just a little rude, and I took it as a hate comment. But the first hate comment I got was from an ex-friend here on YouTube using a fake name, which happens a lot. And her fake name was so obvious, like so obviously connected to her, that I just kind of laughed it off. I mean, I did write back to her and completely told her off, but I did eventually end up deleting the comment altogether because I just didn't want to waste my time on someone so pointless. Now, a friend of mine, Melissa, she actually had a pretty good topic to bring up. I'm going to read her comment. Um, it's quite long, so bear with me, but she gets, she explains it well. She said, I came up with this while trying to find a dupe for something. When doing a dupe video or comparison, such as say a mascara, why pick a product that looks nothing like the said product? I expect if you're going to dupe a mascara, I want the wand to at least resemble that of the product I'm looking for. Yes, maybe a formula is similar, but the formula is not usually what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the same shape wand. And lipsticks? Ugh. If you're doing a dupe, please do not show everything under the sun that does not look like the color of the lipstick in question. If the lipstick is brownish pink, do not show a peachy pink, a peachy brown, mauve, etc. And keep saying over and over, it's not the exact, but pretty close, especially when it's not. When I am looking for a dupe, I am looking for the exact color, not pretty close. Close enough or nothing like it version. I don't care if the formula is different, but I'm looking for the color. And then she said, end rant. <laughs> I actually think that this is a great subject to bring up, Melissa, because I have the same frustrations with this kind of crap. I don't know how many times I have seen people do dupe videos, especially for MAC lipsticks versus something else and they're nothing alike. They have completely different undertones in them. Sometimes they are two completely different pink shades and people say that they are exact dupes for MAC. I've seen that so, so much. Um, but with the mascara, I don't think that I've ever seen someone do a dupe with different wands and stuff, but I think that different things work for people in such different ways 
that's especially mascara because we all have different kinds of eyelashes, different lengths, different volumes, just different ways that they stick out or curl up naturally. So I think that it's really hard for someone to come on here and say what is a dupe for what mascara wise just because it's not going to work the same for everybody. I mean literally everybody will have a different end result with mascara. I find it really, really hard to, I would personally find it very hard to come on here and be like, well, this mascara is exactly like this mascara from, you know, from my lashes. I can say it's personally for me it does that, but I also would have to state that I guarantee that any of you watching, it will not be the same. So what's the point of me making the video? Another friend of mine, Thrifty Chica, Chica. Chica? Did I say that completely wrong? Probably. I think it's thrif Thrifty Chica. Chica. Just tell me if I'm wrong. Ugh. Just tell me. I'm always wrong. I know. But she brought up a good topic too and that is high-end versus low-end makeup. Is there really a difference? Now I know that there are channels on here dedicated just to drugstore and then there are channels on here dedicated just to high-end where the creator will not use either drugstore or high-end makeup. And they usually say it's for a reason, especially with the high-end channels. You know, they just say that there's no point in using drugstore because it's not good. It's not as good as high-end. I personally feel like s some, a lot, of the high-end products are better than what you can get in the drugstore. But there are products in the drugstore that are exactly the same as high-end, if not better. Now, it's you have to sift through that and find the hit and misses with it, but I would think that 70% of the high-end makeup out there should not be high-end. It should be priced the same as drugstore, if not cheaper, because some of it is complete crap. Let me know what you guys think about that because I personally do agree, like, I think that 70% of high-end makeup has the exact same formula as drugstore and should not be priced double or triple. And the last thing that I actually wanted to talk to you guys about is my channel and what I'm doing on this channel and I actually want to get your guys' opinion. I posted a post in Mine and Dawn's beauty group, Beauty and Beyond. I will leave the link to that below. Anybody that has a YouTube channel is more than welcome to join. It is not just a beauty channel group, but I made a post in there telling people that I was going to start doing sponsored videos, more like getting the item for free to review type videos. I'm not getting paid any money so far. Um, but I do have three that I know items that I'm getting sent to me for review that I will be doing videos on. And I wanted to know what people thought, whether that is a sponsored video to get a free item or not. And there was, I mean, it was completely mixed. It was completely like, that is so a sponsored item, you know, or and then other people said, no, you have to actually receive cash in order for it to be sponsored. Now, that's not even my issue there. Um, the question and concern of mine now is that I did a review on it on Instagram on one of them that I have received earlier this week. And, um, you know, people always like my Instagram videos pretty quickly. I get about 15 to 20 likes probably within the first hour of posting my um, picture. When I posted that, um, the picture of the stuff that I received and everything about it, a nice little review and a coupon code that they always give you underneath, not a single person liked it. Like not a single person. I think there's one person that I don't even know who it was that liked that um, Instagram picture. So I'm a bit worried that if I start doing these that people are not going to stay subscribed to me or they're not going to watch or believe my reviews. Now I would only review items that I am truly like impressed with or really really want to try out. You know no nothing that I will be reviewing well, I will have to sign a contract that says I have to give a positive review. That shit's not happening. You guys know me way way too better for that. You know I am not like that. Um, but I'm worried. I'm worried that people are, are just instantly going to write me off for starting to do sponsored type videos. Now, I'm not going to shove them down your throat every five seconds, you know, and I would never do that. I know how annoying it is. 
but we all have to make a living somehow and I'm not even getting paid money it's just free items because my channel is small but it's growing and this is the steps that I'm taking to grow my channel and this is what comes with it but I don't want to lose you guys as a viewers like as viewers or lose your trust because I start doing them I don't want you guys to think that I'm selling out you know or I'm beginning to be fake or I'm changing because I'm not my channel is growing which is gonna be a given but I'm not a sellout. I will never lie to you guys. You guys will know if I'm lying because I will straight up make no sense and start laughing. I'm the worst liar in the world. No joke. Ask my husband. He'll tell you. I can't lie for shit. So I just wanted to come on here and express I'm a little worried that you guys are not going to believe my reviews or you're not going to think that I'm genuine as a person or you're going to unsubscribe just because I'm changing things within my channel and I'm starting to do reviews for products and or sponsorships. And I'm, I'm worried about that. I don't want to lose any of you. You all mean a lot to me. Your support means so much to me. I work so hard for my channel and I don't want it to just all crumble because, you know, sponsored videos and reviewed videos have such a bad rap because of those assholes that lie all the time. I'm not one of them. I never, ever will be one of them. So I hope that you can truly believe that and truly trust in me. I will only bring you things that I really, really have faith in, that I don't have to give a positive review for, and that I actually really like. No nature boxes here. Or no Audible. But that is everything that I want to discuss in this week's chat spat. Please take the time to comment on at least one subject in this video. Comment back to other comments. You guys know that there is a safe sentence and I will leave that in the description box. If that sentence is written under any comment, that comment and everything after it will be deleted. I want people to feel safe within this video, within the comments, and I want us all to have a good time as girls and just girl talk a little bit. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.